Hi everyone, MC Tamarasan here from Chennai Event Professionals, Chennai Event MCs and Chennai Event Entertainers. Event MC, MC Trainer and MC Manager and also Founders of Chennai Event Professionals and Chennai Event MCs and Co-Founder of Chennai Event Entertainers. Well, uh, today's live is about uh, how many number of teams you would be needing uh, for uh, a corporate team voting or whatever the game shows. If you have a game show and if you have, if you have a smaller audience, what would be the number of teams that would be preferred? Uh, this is one of the questions most of my clients and event managers ask because when they call us for the corporate outing, when they get gifts especially, uh, they ask us how many teams you need and how many number of participants you need in a team. It always varies based on the audience and it, again it's, ba it's uh, based on the MC or the anchor or the trainer or who is going to conduct the activity or the facilitate the activity. According to me and uh, according to my view, I always go for two teams, when it's, especially when it's a smaller audience. Even if it's a bigger audience, I like to go for two teams, but uh, not a bigger audience, which is something beyond 80 members. So my team building activity, when it comes for team building activities, uh, my preference is always uh, a team should have 20 to 30 or maximum 40 members in a team. So if the audience size is 80 to 100, probably I'll divide them into uh, definitely three to four teams. Uh, if the audience size is lesser than 60 or 80, for sure I want them to have it as a two teams. And if the audience size is more than 60 or 80, it would be a uh, three team or four teams. And uh, usually having an odd number of teams, I don't prefer. So I always go for either two teams or four. Rarely when the crowd is very huge, we can go for six teams. And in our experience, I think we have hosted only a few events uh, where we had six or more teams. Okay, now coming back to the topic, um, what would be the ideal number of team? I have uh, told you about the uh, number of team members, number of members in a team when it comes for corporate team outing. When it's a team outing, especially with when it's an outdoor activity, we want it to be in a grandeur way, grand way uh, where uh, people can move around, they get a lot of space, they can run, they can walk, jump. Uh, that's the reason uh, uh, we, uh, we get an outdoor activity, I mean outdoor place for a corporate outing. But when, uh, when it's going to be an indoor or if it's going to be a smaller uh, activity like a cafeteria activity or when it's a floor activity, mostly the team size would be small. In fact, uh, recently one of the events we have hosted, team size, other, I mean the entire audience size was like uh, 20, 30 or maximum 40. In that case, my choice would always be two teams. Uh, one major reason is the competitive spirit. When you have more than two teams, that is if you have three or four teams, uh, our, team, our team will not have the competitive spirit. For example, when you have team one, two, three, four, when all the four teams are, uh, are playing together, uh, you will not have a straight competitor. For example, when team one is playing and uh, when team two, three or four are also playing simultaneously with them, and they will not have the spirit of uh, defeating this team or that team. Rather, they will be focusing only on their team. But when you have two teams, there will be always competitive spirit. For example, team one and team two, then what they do, they always their focus will be, I need to beat this team. Like th this is not a bringing in a AB competition as we always say it's a sportive competition. They, they will take it in a sportive way. Healthy competition rather I can say that. So whenever I mean competition in games, it's not to bring in a rivalry among them. It's to bring in a healthy competition to play the game very well with 100% involvement. So when there is only two teams, when there are only two teams, uh, team A, they will be fighting against team B. They will have the huge competitive spirit and uh, they wanted to, at any cost, they need to win the game. They, that would be the uh, spirit among the team members. So my preference always when the crowd is lesser than 40 or 50 and also it's my suggestion as well for other MCs or event managers. When you have the lesser crowd always go for two teams so that uh, they have the huge competitors. I have been using this word again and again because that is what will make the event more successful and more energetic. Uh, because whenever we conduct the game we have seen that uh, the employees they go back to their younger age, they become uh, child, they become children. Uh, this is what it happens and they want more points, they want to win the game, all these things come out. In the case only when there are two teams and when there is direct competition, definitely they will play with play very sportive and they, they will give a tough competition. So this is my suggestion. If you have any uh, contradictory opinion or uh, if you are in favor of this or if you like to share your opinion about uh, splitting the team or having a number of members in team or having number of team, you can definitely leave it as a comment here. Also, if you are planning for any corporate outing or any such game activities, you can definitely contact us on our mobile number. It's 900-308-7198. To know more about us, you can visit our website www.chennaieventprofessionals.com. That's it for now. Have a wonderful night. This is MC Tamarasan signing off. Good night. Stay blessed.